Hand washing is the most important step in preventing foodborne illness. Wash hands with warm, soapy water for at least 20 seconds. Dry your hands with a clean paper towel or towel. You must wash your hands after using the bathroom, handling raw meat, poultry, or seafood, eating or drinking, touching your face or hair, coughing or sneezing, smoking, or using your cell phone. Wash your hands, fresh produce, cooking utensils, and cooking surfaces before preparing food and again after contact with raw meat, poultry, seafood, and eggs. Wash produce thoroughly by rinsing under tap water, including those with a peel. Rub firm skin fruit and vegetables with clean hands or a clean produce brush while rinsing. Sanitize all food preparation and eating surfaces and let air dry. To create a sanitizing solution, dilute one tablespoon of bleach in one gallon of room temperature or cool water. You can also use full strength hydrogen peroxide or full strength vinegar with 5% acetic acid. Air dry dishes and kitchen surfaces if possible. Cross contamination spreads bacteria. Cross contamination is the transfer of harmful bacteria or viruses from one person, object, or place to another. Prevent harmful bacteria and viruses from transferring into the food you eat by separating raw poultry and meat from foods that won't be cooked and keeping foods you won't cook away from surfaces and utensils that have touched raw meat and poultry. Keep raw meat and poultry apart from foods that won't be cooked. While you're shopping and when you bag your groceries, place raw meat, poultry, and seafood in plastic bags to separate from one another. When you store foods in the refrigerator, store raw meat, poultry, and seafood on a plate or in a container on a shelf below other foods. When you are preparing foods, use separate cutting boards, one for fresh produce and one for raw meat, poultry, and seafood. If only one cutting board is available, Wash and sanitize the cutting board after each use. Prepare foods that won't be cooked before handling raw meat and poultry. Always wash hands and surfaces that have had contact with raw meat and poultry before introducing foods that will not be cooked. Never place cooked food on a plate that previously held raw meat, poultry, or seafood without washing the plate first. Use clean utensils when going from raw to cooked food. Color and texture are unreliable indicators of food that is cooked safely. Using a food thermometer is the only way to ensure poultry, meat, seafood, and eggs are cooked safely. These foods must be cooked to a minimum internal temperature to destroy harmful bacteria. The food thermometer should be placed in the thickest part of the food, away from the bone, fat, or gristle, and away from the sides and bottoms of hot pans. There are three safe ways to thaw food, in the refrigerator, in cold water, and in the microwave. To thaw foods in the refrigerator, place them in a sealed plastic bag or container. Meat, poultry, and fish should be thawed on the bottom shelf in a shallow pan. Frozen foods can be thawed in cold water. Place food in a leak-proof package or plastic bag. Place the bag in a bowl filled with cold tap water. Keep the food submerged in cold water by placing clean dinner plates on top. Change the water every 30 minutes until food is thawed. When thawing foods in the microwave, plan to cook it immediately after thawing. Keep your refrigerator at 40 degrees Fahrenheit or less. Use a refrigerator thermometer to check the temperature. Chill leftovers and takeout foods in the refrigerator to 40 degrees Fahrenheit or below as soon as possible or within two hours. Divide large volumes of food into smaller containers or shallow pans to cool quickly. Date leftovers and use or freeze within two to three days.